Lais Livon. Lais Livon. Lais, you are not from Chicago, I'm guessing. No, I'm not. I'm from Brazil. Ooh, I've never been to Brazil. Which part of Brazil are you from? I'm from southern Brazil, and uh, the city is called Londrina. The state's called Paraná. You probably have never heard of it. I have. It's my favorite <laughs> state. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just south like, of Sao Paulo. Just like house. Illinois is your favorite state. When you yeah. were in Brazil, you were like, oh, I dream of Illinois. Yes, absolutely. Just that like that. Uh, okay, Lice, are you a creative? Would you say you like to dabble in creative things? What kind of stuff do you like to do? Yeah, uh, I'm a photographer. So and we're actually using your really nice camera right and now. I am your photographer <laughs> <laughs> it's true it's true yeah so she yeah she takes beautiful quilt photos also beautiful scrappy photos yeah she thinks you oh mm -hmm. wow <laughs> but let me ask have you ever sewn before never never um, Lace is, Lace, I say her name wrong so if you're saying her name wrong in the comments don't do what I say not what I do Lace. not Lace, like the potatoes Lice. I, I think you probably correct me once a week because I'm usually just shouting, Lice! Lice! And she's like, Lice. You know, <laughs> you mount as prettier things when you actually say it correctly. Lice. Uh, nice. um, okay, so Lice, we are going to learn to sew together. I'm very excited. And one of the most intimidating things about sewing for people is the machine. Have mm -hmm. you ever sewn on a sewing machine, I'm guessing? Never. No. Okay, well, what we're going to do with Jersey is we're not going to sew on a machine at all. We're going to make something called a whole cloth quilt. And that's just two big pieces of fabric put together. And we're going to do some fun applique on it. You already know what applique is, right? No. It sounds French. But I <laughs> well, don't speak French. Oh, you know, you speak all, all the other languages. I <laughs> that you spoke French. Uh, we're no. going to be doing this again in Spanish because Lais knows Portuguese and Spanish and I'm sure you know other things. Japanese. <laughs> no. Well, that's a new one. <laughs> Konnichiwa. Arigato. <laughs> oh my gosh. And that was the only thing I knew. Um, okay, so we're going to be using Jersey and we're going to be doing applique. Two things I feel like I should explain, since possibly you don't already know. Yeah, I no, should okay. explain. <laughs> I really don't know anything. Okay. okay, so applique is, it is a French word, and it is when you cut out, these are our templates that we're going to be using, it's when you cut out a piece of fabric and you sew it on top of another piece of fabric. Okay, but we're going to do one other kind of applique. Hold this. Let me give you something to do. We're going to do one other applique. We're going to do reverse applique. And that's when we're actually going to be tracing this piece right here. And we're going to be cutting it out, and so you actually see the back layer instead of the top layer. So we're going to be changing it up, doing some crazy things. Amazing. You're excited? Um, <laughs> oh, jersey. Okay, so a lot of people who have quilted before, not just sewn garments, but quilted before, they think of jersey as a garment fabric. Okay, let me, let me tell you why. Give this a good old stretch for me. Drop that template. Huh. <laughs> Better make sure you stay on the frame. It's so stretchy. Oh yeah, am I still <laughs> It's so stretchy. You can get really close and stretch it. Um, and it's a little bit scary for quilters. A lot of quilters ask me, is knit jersey cotton? Yeah. You know, um, I'm not scared because I don't know what works and what doesn't work because I've never done this before. <laughs> That's why this is perfect if you've never sewn before or if you have quilts and you're just like mega adventurous. It's hard to get scared though. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so Jersey is not a woven fabric. So your typical quilter's cotton. I'm going to jump out of the frame really quick. Yeah. You entertain the folks. I'm going to grab <laughs> some cotton so people can see the difference. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Hi guys! <laughs> Hi guys! You're doing great. I am. Uh, so, oh wow! Well, I'm, I'm back. back. <laughs> okay, so here is a piece of cotton. All right, we're gonna get up close at some point and slice that into this video. But you can see cotton is a woven fabric. You have weft and warp, yarns go up and down, like this. You can actually see it like in the light. You can totally see it in the light. Okay, also hold up this edge. What's happening here? Come on, Liz, pop quiz. What? Wow, <laughs> well, it starts 
kind of like what I don't know the term, so I'm right. <laughs> starting to pray. Starting to pray. It's praying. Okay, <laughs> hold up this jersey on the raw edge. What's it not doing? It doesn't fray. <laughs> it doesn't fray. It doesn't. <laughs> and that's because it is a webbed fabric, so it's looped. So instead of the weft and the warp weaving in and out, like this, it's looped. So it's like it's like this. <laughs> I can't do that. Yeah, so that's Jersey. So it's like more of, you know, like a loosey goosey, we're not going to fray, we're too cool to fray, we're just webbed together <laughs> kind of a fabric. Whereas this is like weft warp, we're definitely going to fray if you try to cut us. We'll cut you back. That's like your regular cotton. Um, we're going to use Jersey. It's going to be really fun, but it does stretch a little bit. But that's okay because we're going to be sewing by hand, and so our really big hand stitches are going to stretch with that fabric. So you're not going to pop any seams. That made a lot of sense to you, I can tell. Okay, let's talk real quick about supplies because you don't need a ton. The first supplies you don't need is a sewing machine. You don't need that. So you're good. I'm good because I don't have one. Yes. Um, I have some scrap jersey. We picked out some colors together. Here you go, Lace. Slice. <laughs> See, my mouth doesn't do it right. Uh, we picked out some scrap colors together and those are going to be our nice little applique pieces. We also got two yards of two different fabrics. Just like this. Okay, these are slightly different. Back to my question. Is all jersey 100% cotton? The answer is no. For this project, I'm going to suggest you get fabric that is either 100% cotton or 95% cotton. This right here is an Andover. It's an Allison Glass fabric and it is 100% cotton jersey. We'll get a nice close up on that. Um, it's, it has a totally different texture of this, don't you think? Feel this. Yes. One is softer. Is. Yeah, definitely. This one doesn't stretch as much. Mm -hmm. I don't is. know. Okay, this one I'm going to show you over here. This is such a pretty color. I think it's called like Ice Mist. Okay. Um, this is an art gallery jersey. It is 95% cotton. Can you guess what the other 5% is, Lace? Lace? Polyester. Good guess! What? The index. <laughs> <laughs> totally wrong. <laughs> I don't know. You did it! I also don't know anything about fabrics. <laughs> I, I was, uh, like, that was a good guess. I feel like that was a really good guess. Okay. This, whoa, it stretches so much more. And that's that 5% spandex. It will stretch back. I mean, so you don't have to be worried about me, you know, doing this or that. Um, but if you get a knit that is a totally different stretch factor than your cotton, than the other one, it's going to be a little bit trickier since you're possibly a beginner or at least new to knit. Let's just stick with 100% cotton or something very close to 100% cotton. Okay, so you have your fabric. Oh, in the notes or somewhere in my blog, I'll post a few links to where to buy a jersey because, you know, sometimes you don't know. You can either, you know, buy it online, you can buy it at a store, you can buy it in a yard sale. No. Yep. Okay. Um, really simple supplies. We're going to be glue basting, so. I do have that. There you go. <laughs> Your little Alicia probably has that. Yes, exactly. I know. She has that. Um, okay, the only thing that might be a little bit tricky, and you can actually substitute, you don't have to use this. This is a disappearing marker. So it's water soluble on one side and it's air soluble on the other, which means it just vanishes. But if you are really careful with your cutting, you can use a pencil, you can use a Sharpie, you could use a ballpoint pen. Just be really careful. Don't let it bleed. This is safe, but if you're dangerous, don't use it. <laughs> okay, for, for actual sewing for the applique part, I like to get some embroidery needles. These are uh, Clover Gold Eye embroidery needles. This is my number eight pearl cotton thread. We're using a cotton thread. And hold this, I'll give you a job. Um, this is a needle threader. It seems like it might not be worth it, but it is. It's worth its weight in gold because how many times are you like licking, you know, like to get that <laughs> fine point and you're like, err, getting it. It's just you don't have to do that at all with a needle threader. So this is laces. You have to print out your templates. You have that. And you need a sharp pair of scissors. I have okay. that. Well, you have, you probably that nice. have this. Not that nice. Probably sharp. I had masking tape. Oh, well, you know what masking tape looks like. Can you reach that over there? Oh. Uh, I was trying to slap together something earlier and uh, lost some masking tape. Okay. One thing I do want to point out is that this masking tape is relatively thick. 
if you get masking tape that's kind of thin, it's going to be harder to use. We're going to be actually taping our fabric to the floor for this. Okay. So get something that's kind of thick. Am I missing anything? Oh, yeah. Oh. The wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to baste with safety pins. This is my Tupperware of pins. We're going to baste with these as opposed to spray based. So this is kind of like hairspray except blue, blue spray. Oh. Um, when I basted my jersey quilt, I used glue based. This is a spray based because I was only going to be doing applique and I, I didn't want to be dodging safety pins with my applique. Okay, but why are we going to be using safety pins this time around? It's because of that reverse applique. It's because we're going to be cutting that top layer, we're going to be showing the bottom layer, and I didn't want the bottom layer to be sticky. Mm. So I think we covered it. I might add something later. But I think that's it. So, cut camera. <laughs> yes. So you can see that we have ironed our jersey. We've laid it out on the floor. Uh, Lais picked this kind of limey color to be the back and then the ice color is going to be the front. So our first step, nice catch! <laughs> our first step is to tape down the edges. Okay, here's something to keep in mind. You want it to be tight but not stretched because remember this is a really stretchy fabric. So let's tape down all of the edges to the floor so it's tight but not stretched out. Okay. okay, what did you do the first one? All right, here we go. <laughs> Follow my lead. And I pre-washed this jersey, so it is going to curl a little bit at the edges. That's okay. I'm just going to kind of unravel it down and then tape it down. Good. And sometimes what I like to do is I'll tape a couple on this side, and then I'll hop to the other side. I'll tape a couple on that side, and I'll do one stretch. Uh, of the opposite sides and then I'll move to the other sides and you can always you know if it's not really in a good place like if I kind of messed up where Lace put her tape I can always pick it up and move it. Um, so you can see here why it's good to have that thicker masking tape because if you have really thin masking tape you'll be able to catch both both uh, the, the fabric and the floor. Okay so we're going to keep taping and then we'll get back to you. So we have masking taped all around the perimeter of our lime green fabric. That's going to be the back. And then we took our top fabric. And you can see it's a little bit longer on some sides, a little bit shorter on the other. That's okay. We're going to fix that later. Uh, we smoothed it out. So it's really important to get a good smooth base. This is going to set you up for success so you don't have any weird puckers. But honestly, Jersey is really forgiving. You're not going to have any trouble. So even if you kind of mess up the base, uh, you're still going to be fine. But let's let's set ourselves up for success. Okay, so I've kind of sprinkled out some safety pins. Um, Lace, how long is this? One and a half inches. One and a half inches. She was telling me centimeters earlier. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Um, so we're just going to go around and about every hand's distance. So here's my thumb. I'm going to put a safety pin here. Um, you know, I read on some blogs that piercing your jersey can cause a hole in the web. And so I, was, I got very, very scared and nervous about doing that. So I, I practiced this and I tested it. And I've yet to have a safety pin poke a hole in my jersey. So I don't know if that was people just being very cautious. Um, if you don't feel comfortable with the safety pins, you can definitely use the spray base that we showed earlier. But uh, for our purposes, yep, go Sorry. for it. All right. Keep going, Lice. Show us how it's done. Look at that, look at that. Such a pro. Um, for our purposes, we're just going to keep doing safety pins. Um, we're going to end up having to move some of these safety pins as we start laying down our applique pieces, but that's okay. Uh, we're just going to get a solid base because then our next step is that we're going to trim the fabric so that the top and back are roughly the same size. Yeah. So now we've pin based and added a dog. 
Thanks, Scrap. <laughs> You're so helpful. Uh, the next step is we're going to trim our two pieces of jersey to the right size. So I'm going to do this. Oh, yes. Here we go. Okay, and the only tricky part about this is we're going to try to get the corners relatively square. Not a big deal if they're not square, um, but we're going to try our best. So one piece of supplies I didn't include was just a basic tape measure. You probably have this at home. So I'm going to do one of these. Alicia, are you coming in too? It's a party in here. Come on in, Alicia. Right, take a sit here, okay? Okay. But you have to sit down. Come here. <laughs> All right. Uh, Alicia is Lace's little daughter. How old are you? I'm four. Four. How, do you know how old Scrappy is? Um, no. She's super old. She's like eight years old, but Ow. times seven. <laughs> Did she kick you? <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Scrap. Okay, so we have our, um, our uh, what do you call this again? Measuring tape. We have our measuring tape. And now if you're a quilter, you might have one of these. Uh, you know, like a ruler. Thanks, Scrap. And you can, Scrappy, I'm going to have you sit right over here. Thank you. You can use a ruler to help you square up the corner. <laughs> this is real life, though, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks, Scrap. <laughs> I don't know if everybody wants to see your bottom scrap, but if you're not a quilter and you don't have any kind of fancy ruler, you can get anything in your house that's square. I found this little picture frame, it's a nice photo of me and my mom, and I can just use that as a guide because that has a square edge. So now, Lace, you're wielding the scissors. Okay. Do you want to start it? So no, I want you to start it. Okay, so you're just going to cut along like right here, and you notice we're not untaping it. You're going to cut through both layers. So let me start here and go. Cut through both layers though. Oh. Yeah, you're only going to one layer. Oh yeah, that's true. If you need to untape it, you can. Scrappy might be in the way, so... <laughs> like starting is going to be super helpful. Please tell me if... It's totally fine if it, your cut is jagged. Oh, That's okay. completely fine. It we're going to be covering this up. So to finish this quilt, we're going to be folding the edges over. So this edge won't be seen at all. If you need to move the tape measure, you can do that. What do you think, Alicia? Um, think you can help too? Do you think mommy can make a quilt? Yeah. With Susie's help? What about without so. Susie's help? Here, we can, we can untape it too. Right. Whatever is easier for you. I, I think the tape makes it easier because sometimes jersey can kind of shrink back yes. in on itself. So this kind of helps hold it tight. It's pretty, it's amazing. It's pretty easy. It's such a good idea. Yeah. Like, Got the whole family involved. Ooh. Yeah, and you can just kind of unpeel that tape as you go. And you can, if, depending on how large these scraps are, yeah. you can use these for future applique. Okay. You know? Yeah. I think. Can you say applique, Alicia? Um, yeah. Say it. Applique. Oh. Scrap, can you say applique? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to show you how we're going to square off this edge. I have my picture frame. You could use, what we we're kind of brainstorming ideas. What else is square? You could use your cutting board, cutting board. like a pad a of paper, a like book. A... Yep, that's a good one. So anything you have that's square, and then take your tape measure again and do the exact same thing. So just start cutting along the tape measure. <laughs> we're just going to watch you do this. Like if you need to get this, the first one off to help you get going. Yeah, probably. The, the beginning cuts are probably the hardest. But also, yeah. There we go. If we weren't recording, I would probably start from the other side just here. Oh, yeah. The things we do for video. <laughs> Is, am I moving that? If you are, it's not a big deal, but you okay. know what you could do? You could put a weight or something on the other side, yeah. and you could weight it down. And it's just a trick using the things that you already have at home. Is it a quilt now? Is it a quilt now? <laughs> it's basically a quilt now. Okay, yeah. so all of the masking tape has been removed. Flip it. Let's see the other side. So we have two pieces. <laughs> and scrap. <laughs> and scrap. We have two pieces of jersey basted together. The next step is the applique. Woohoo! Applique? Applique. Applique. <laughs>